Hello YouTube, this is Crosscheck and welcome to another very exciting update from the Microsoft Flight Simulator team. Apologies for not keeping you up to date, on the last update we'll do my best to squeeze that info in here, life has been chaotic, to say the least. Anywho, today is a very special day, as the Boeing 747-8i has been cleared for takeoff. We also got lots of info regarding what has been improved in this new version, we got news regarding new invitations to the Alpha, some interesting stuff regarding the SDK, a new development roadmap to have a look at, and of course, more beautiful screenshots taken by participants that will be displayed in the background of this video, as well as some videos. Ok, so alpha testers now have access to the newly released alpha version 3, aka build 1.3.9. Of course, there are still many issues and the team is fully aware of these. We got navigational issues, wrong stall speeds, wrong display data, erratic flight director, erratic auto throttle, the aircraft ignoring the target altitude, overshooting altitude constraints, attempting to change the speed units may end up in changing the target speed aircraft losing altitude during a turn, aircraft may skid, skip on turns with autopilot, autopilot heading changes through 180 degrees will reverse the turn direction, rocking movement during flight, aircraft not correctly aligning with the runway during a ILS approach, there are some buttons that are not currently implemented such as lock, the MCP, THR and FPV, and well, many, many more. <laughs> more info on the known issues can be found following the link in this video's description. We do also have lots of improvements in this new version. I will mention areas where I am more interested in, as the list is quite long and I want to give you an idea of the improvements rather than just read everything out, right? But before that, I just want to mention the news regarding the alpha invitations. The team is currently sending out invitations starting today. Now people who registered the earliest should be prioritized. Hope that is the case and all of you guys hanging on tight since day numero uno finally do get access. Let's now talk a bit about the improvements in this new alpha version. We are starting with the Airbus A320, the autopilot level off no longer overshoots as badly, approach phase activation no longer results in an incorrect change in heading, missing audio from some buttons in our present, MFD now matches FMS information, speed constraints are now available in the FMS, no more duplicated waypoints in the FMS, autopilot now commands nose high enough to climb out, FD is now selectable on ground, auto thrust and pitch behavior no longer leads in a stall, vertical speed mode has been improved, no more left and right rocking on autopilot, autopilot is less aggressive as well, now able to toggle between managed and selected heading, sits, stars and approaches are now selectable, which is really nice, flaring has improved, takeoff rotations as well, better approach speeds calculations, now the glide slope can be captured with the autopilot mode, reverse thrusters are now working, and many other nice improvements. Of course, other aircraft have also received some improvements, but not as substantial as the A320, which at the end of the day has been the newest aircraft in the Alpha until today, with the 747 now joining us. So yeah, we can expect the 747 to be far from a finished product, but we can of course expect great improvements in the next updates. Let's now jump into some airport specific improvements and or changes. This is mostly regarding more than 7000 generic airports. Uh, we have improvements on the taxiways, logic and visuals, surfaces types, parking spots, ground markings, floating or missing features being corrected, MRSN Sirena Station Airport crashes are now fixed, and missing ATC instructions have been corrected. Now regarding game stability and quality of life improvements, you can expect several crashes and fixes. Placing external panel out of the screen should no longer provoke a crash. Also, the process should no longer remain running in the background after closing it. Memory use and frames per second have been improved. The ATC now does a better job accounting for the flow of live traffic and issuing their takeoffs and landings clearances. COM1 no longer defaults to 122.9er at start of each flight regardless of departing airport. We have quite a few improvements in areas such as multiplayer, peripherals, user interface and user experience, weather, world and also a couple of more known issues. Now moving on, let's talk a bit about the SDK. 
The team has been gathering a lot of feedback from third-party developers and are looking into widening the scope of what can be customized in the simulator. Also, the team is looking into how to make it easier to bring existing assets into the new simulator. In the coming months, we should be hearing more about these really interesting third-party developer creations that may very well be available to this simulator from day one. Now let's jump into the development roadmap and let's get right into the highlights. Today, the alpha version 3 is live, of course, on the 28th of this month we should get the next featured discovery series episode, numero 8 IFR, that would be instrument flight rules. Early June we should get alpha version 4 and the partnership announcement series release for Meteo Blue. Mid June partnership announcements for NABLU and late June partnership series announcement for FlightAware and also a new alpha version, version 5. On early July we can expect another partnership announcement. Who is it about? Well, that is to be announced. Mid July we are going to be getting the closed beta this month. This most definitely taking us quite closer to the release date and also, again, a to be announced partnership, which will also get another one late July. So busy busy times ahead. Anyway, it is time for me to go and update my alpha and take that 747 out for a spin. Hope to see you guys in the air. Thank you very much for sticking around. Special thanks to my Patreons Punda, Lovra Vegeta and Devan Cutting. Appreciate your support immensely. Happy flying. Cross check out. <laughs>